Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike. It's Dan. Do you have what it takes to live on Mars? Can you be the Martian? I can't. You don't I, think I, you can I, do that? I cannot eat potatoes for a year and grow poop potatoes. I, I was watching that movie and um, I love science fiction movies because I always wonder like, okay, can I can I do this? I, I, I'm imagining myself mm -hmm. doing what he's doing. Yeah. And, and in terms of like, there was like, I think five, how many days? Like five, 600 days? Like Martian yeah, he, he was there. He was there for like, a long time. Like, like two years, I think. It, it wasn't Living like- off potatoes and ketchup. Yeah, I could do it. You, you could do it. I could do it. You can't live off potatoes now. No, no, no. What, what do you mean? Like I can't eat potatoes every day? You know, you can't. I can no, because here's the thing. Here's Why? the thing. You don't know this, but I basically like, you know how like I'll, I'll eat anything? You won't eat anything. Yeah. No, no, no. You, you tripe? No, I won't eat tripe, but, pota but potatoes. Come on. Like, You'll please. eat potatoes every single day for two years. With ketchup too. Until you the ketchup not. runs out. Oh, well. You can't even do it for a week. No, I can do it. Dude, no, I can literally eat it. the same thing every day. I, I don't do I eat the same thing every day. Yeah, I don't need eat variety. Like, you eat like like mixed things, like like you'll eat like a salad which has different things in there. No, oh or no, you eat no. like a dish that no, has different but, things in but there. But you're looking at the You're not eating one vegetable yeah, for, the, for the rest of your, your That that's year. not the biggest of my concerns. The biggest is like, dude, you're you're literally alone for for two years, three years, alone on this planet. Yeah. I mean, granted, if you go to Mars, you'll you'll be with a team, probably, right? But doing. I mean, I mean, right? you, can, you can always get a companion like Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Dude. <laughs> but because because I think the Martian, the movie, it's a little bit different circumstance. Because like, if you realistically, if we ever sent somebody to the moon, it wouldn't be one person. It would be a team. Sure. Of people, of course. And of course, if they all died or left you, then you'd be alone. But assuming that doesn't happen. You, you're gonna need a lot of skills, which is what this article is talking about. Like, it's not just the physical aspect, right? right? You, first of all, you gotta be an astronaut. That I don't think I could do. I, I can't be an astronaut. Yeah, you'll pass out. I will pass you'll out. You'll pass out. You pass out I, on a roller coaster. I pass out, dude. I won't. I tell you right now. I mean, I could train for it. Like, I've trained to run. You know, I've I've yeah. used to run. I'm be a runner. But dude, it, it's not gonna be good. No, no, no. I, I've seen you at the gym. It's not pretty. It's yeah, not gonna it's be good. It's not good. The only way I will tr I will ever become an astronaut, like physically, is if like the world is ending and we had to do Armageddon, and, and it was just me and you left and some other people, and they were like, "Yo, you guys got to go up and blow up the asteroid." Then I would have to train for it, and then I and then I could do it. That's your motivation. But yeah, but like <laughs> but like voluntary, I wouldn't I wouldn't train for it. Okay. Well, well, what would you do um, mm -hmm. if you were there? Like what? How would you survive? This article is talking about like kind of the skill sets and personality traits yes. you need to, to to survive on Mars. Right, so I'm reading through them. Yeah. I think that I, I exhibit a lot of those intangible ones. Mm -hmm. Again, minus the physical attributes needed to be an astronaut. Well, what are, what are some of the traits they're, they're asking for? Well, I think the first the first one's pretty self-evident. You have to be self-motivated and ha be able to lead a team mm -hmm. of people. I mean, I, I, might, I might not be the leader, I could be the leader, but you know, you have to be self-motivated. You can't go to Mars and wake up and you know, like, Wake up at noon and be like, yo, what am I gonna do today? Um, you gotta work with other people. Mm -hmm. So I'm good with that. Yeah, you are, you are. You're, you're very good working with, with other people. Good with other people. Yeah. Um, you're gonna end up, of course, you're gonna be with them all the time. So you're gonna know their most intimate details. You know, sometimes it's like family. Sometimes you like them, sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. You can't just be like, all right, I'm not gonna talk to you for a month. No, you're you're stuck on Mars. Yeah, you, you gotta talk to them. You gotta work together despite your differences. So I think I could do that. I, the the other one is I, this is the part that I would enjoy the most is I need to learn like a bunch of different things. Yeah, which I would love to know. Really? Yeah. But like you gotta be multifaceted. <clears throat> like you know you gotta you know like learn how to make potatoes out of human poo or learn how to recycle. The water, you know, all these kind of cool things, you know. You, you don't <laughs> think that's you, you think they're cool now? Yeah. When you get up there, you're like, this is the worst thing ever happened to me. Well, see, this is what I was thinking about because I think that if I'm if I actually got there mm -hmm. with a team of people, I would kind of enjoy it because I do enjoy like doing, doing, being in a routine, doing the same things every day. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like waking. You know, you know how some people they they're like, oh, what's today gonna bring? I'm like, yeah, I like to wake up and know and have a structure. So the times in my life when there was no structure, it was actually very difficult. Cause I'm like, 
oh, I could do this, I could do this. You know what I mean? So wake up, there's a routine. So you, you gotta, you gotta, you know, go analyze rocks and stuff, go you grow your, you gotta do all those things. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 they're taking applicants to go to that Mars colony. Yeah. Would you ever do that? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that because, no, because. Why don't you do that? No, because we have our, we have our lives right now. Like <laughs> my, my dream isn't to go to Mars. I, yeah. I, I'm just picturing if I ever had to be sent up there, I think I could do it. Really? Yeah. I, I, you don't I, think you I, can do I it? I think, no, I think you can't do it. I think you're gonna, you're not gonna be able to hack it. Because here's why, I'll tell okay. you why. Okay. You won't be able to go shopping for clothes. <laughs> Alright, that's something you're, you're like, yeah. that's, you gotta see something you need. Uh, yeah, 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 you, yeah. you won't have your skincare cream for that long. Oh, why not? I what? could bring that How many are you gonna bring? Here's what I would do. I would figure out a formula from the Martian soil and the man-made yeah, stuff. Yeah, because you're trying to survive. You're thinking about how to how to get skin cream from the more Martian soil. Well, let me tell you this yeah, right that's now. Gonna that's gonna turn your face into like a tentacle-faced Martian. Let me tell you right now. Oh, dude, that would be crazy. Let me tell you this right now. You know how they have bird poo facials? Nah, uh, yeah. Human poop. No, no, human poo yo, facials. Human, yo, you will put human poop on your face. I'm not saying I would. I'm saying, listen, listen to what I'm saying, right? If I'm stuck on Mars for a long time, years, I would have to. Well, let me let me ask you. Out. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. If you were on Mars with a bunch of random people that you, you, you could, like, so let's say a bunch of random dudes. Okay? Dudes. Well, okay, okay. I mean, uh, you're gonna be me, with different. People. Okay. Let me yeah. ask you a simple question. Mm -hmm. Who are you trying to impress? <laughs> well, did you see the movie? They all fall. In, they they all have a relationship. <laughs> Yo, you probably realistically, you could. You probably realistically, if there's a if there's another person, if there's a female on there. You might just marry them, right? It depends on who it is. If I don't know. Females like sixty. You're not no, gonna no, marry no. Same, similar age by by proximity by time. I mean, you might just I mean, marry that, them. That's just a victim of circumstance. That's what that's what I'm saying. Because you're, you're you're there all the time with them. This is the one unrealistic thing I feel like a lot of these. Like if you if you go to a mission on Mars, let's say for an extended period of time, because it takes what years to just get there. Yeah. You, to, like I would select applicants who don't have families, because they're how are they gonna? Well, well I mean, you, you could you could just like I mean, of course they're gonna be young probably. Yeah, and like, but not to see your and family they're, they're for kinda, five years. Well, I'm thinking they're kind of gonna die there, because that's what the Mars colony <laughs> thing is. They're just they're just resigned to the fact that we're going there, we're not coming back. Yeah, because I mean, if you if you if it's a, if it's an eight year six year round trip, you know, you know why I think this thing could just fall apart in everyone's right. faces, right? Because we all have jealousy. We all have Good things point. we desire. That's right. So let's say we sent up like five guys, five girls, right? Well, okay. And let's say the girl you like doesn't like you. Right. All right. I and she likes somebody else. She likes someone else. <laughs> Yo, there might be some murdering going up up there. Yo, are, are you talking about like a, a, a Mars sitcom now? This is this a is Mars not a sitcom. sitcom. This is, this is a, a, a how to get away with murder trial. Yeah. I, I think that NASA would take that into consideration. Because like, you cannot you know? say up there anymore, right. there's plenty of fish in the sea. There's not, no, there's, not. there's only five fish. Well, you, are, you only like one of them. You are talking about some of the smartest people on the planet. Oh, you I don't know that. I think that they would take that into consideration. Do people, smart people do jealous, dumb stuff all the time. Just saying, True. there might be some crazy stuff going on, conflicts going on up there. I think they will. So I think you can't like let The real housewife of Mars. Yeah, I think so. I, I think there's eventually human nature. There's some going yeah. on. And, and one other thing to point out with this article, so they're looking, they're, they're talking about what you need on Mars, but actually on the Earth, they're testing this already. So they have a group of scientists and there's the main guy, Dr. Clark, they've chosen six or seven people from around the world to go on this 160 day trip. It's kind of like an excursion where mm -hmm. they're replicating what it would be like on Mars. So literally they're wearing suits, right? They're like, I don't know, collecting, so, I mean, what do you do on Mars? You collect soil, soil samples, right? Or rock samples, I mean, there's nothing else. Um, and then they, they simulate what it would be like to be together for, in this case, it's only 160 days. Yeah. It's not a long time. That's a long time. I don't think it's a long time. 160 That's days, That's a long dude. time. That's, That's uh, like six months, almost. Yeah, three, six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I don't think that's a long time. That's a long Come time. On, half a dude. year? Half a year goes by like that. Whatever. I think if they want to really experiment, the isolation and everything, you got to have these guys for 
two years together. No, no, no one's on the earth. It. Well, guys, we're gonna post the article for you to read in the link uh, comments or uh, description box below. So check that out. Uh, let us know. Would you want to go to Mars? Would you be able to handle yourself? Grow some poo all that. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you. Later.